What's up friends, Liron here and today I want to share a quick tip with you. Um, so I have this painting here uh, that is taped. Now as some of you may know, I'm really an impatient person sometimes and so uh, this tip is, is great for me and I guess for other impatient people out there. So uh, my tip is if you want to prevent your watercolor paper from buckling too much and let me show you an example of this uh, in my opinion horrible painting that I did uh, yesterday I just hated it uh, but you see how the paper buckled really like a lot you can see this um, and the reason why it happened is because I was really impatient to just get it off uh, my uh, plywood board and so with this one I let it dry overnight and when you let it dry overnight all the areas dry together and it should stretch or shrink uh, and just be flat okay so I'm just gonna show you uh, this in effect now I'm gonna take out the tape and you will see how much it's how it's much flatter than the one I just showed you okay so you can see the difference hopefully uh, this one's really almost entirely flat and it's just ready to be framed or to uh, to do anything you want with it and it doesn't have that weird buckle to it and now the weird buckle is not necessarily a disaster uh, but uh, it's definitely better that way so uh, <laughs> this is really good for me as I said because I'm impatient uh, because a lot of the time I just want to you know rip it out and just start another one so just if you have two of these um, uh, pieces of wood or just another surface you can work on my suggestion is as much as possible to leave this uh, overnight to dry and only then take off the tape so anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned uh, something new. I hope it's new for you uh, and also maybe you enjoyed the painting itself. I decided to go uh, edit monochromatic um, and so yes that's it for today. Friends I want to thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this new quick tip I just have quick something to share format. Um, as I said uh, moving to a daily format is really challenging. I do want to do it. I do want to publish videos on a daily basis. Uh, but publishing every day like an information packed how to draw video is super challenging. And so I do want to spice it up with more documenting my journey, showing the painting I did today, talking about it. And not necessarily to just make it a how to, how to, how to. Um, because I have so many things that I'm working on simultaneously like uh, that this is actually my job this is how I make money uh, so the courses products books um, marketing infrastructure all of those good things business development collaborations all of these tons of stuff I need to concentrate on because I do want to provide interesting con uh, content for you and if I want to do that I need to create interesting things in my career and also be able to afford all of that uh, and so I am trying to sort of hack it so that I can publish daily videos and still keep the how-to spirit and also add a bit of a documentary spirit to this channel just documenting my journey as an artist. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this new format. Um, let me know what you think in the comment below. Um, if this is good, I'm going to try and make it really a mix of documenting and, and really teaching um, so the how-tos aren't going anywhere. Um, this is it just had to share and really wanted to share this quick tip. I hope uh, you learned something new from it and I will see you again tomorrow.